What's up YouTube? Today we're going to talk about the difference between booth rent and commission and which one's right for you. Let's go. Alright YouTube, what's up? Today we're going to talk about booth rent and commission. It's going to be short and sweet to the point. Um, pretty pretty straightforward. We're going to figure out which one's better for you. Um, talk to the new barbers and the veterans today. So let's jump straight into it. Okay, so you're a new barber and you're looking for a place to cut. And you're trying to figure out if you should pay commission or booth rent. Let me give you the basics. Commission is great for new barbers because you're not going to lose money if you're sitting around. What I mean by that is the fact that um, you only pay off of what you cut. So if you're not cutting, you're not paying. Now, here's the thing about that. The business owner isn't going to be wanting you to sit around all damn day long. So he's going to be throwing you he's gonna be throwing you walk-ins left and right. I guarantee it. Because he wants you to make money. Because if, he, if you make money, he makes money. Because the more you cut, the more you pay. Once you get a clientele, you tend to pay a lot more when you're on commission. So this is usually the point where you want to switch to booth rent. So let's talk about booth rent. Booth rent is nice because usually it's a fixed rate for the week, sometimes monthly, it depends. Um, but this is usually better for veteran barbers because you have a clientele built up and you want to make the most amount of money. Because if you're a new barber and you switch to booth rent right away, when you're sitting around, you're losing money. Here's why. At the end of the week, you're responsible for that booth rent, whether you, cut up, whether you were there every day and nobody showed up, or whether you were cutting all day every day end of the week you're responsible for that rent if you don't pay that rent guess who doesn't have a charity cut in next week my point exactly so what you want to do is wait until you have a clientele built up before you want to switch to booth rent because you'll lose a lot of money if you don't in my opinion I'm, I'm not you know an expert but I'm a professional same thing now so another pro for booth rent is once you pay for your chair the chair is yours for the duration of what you paid for whether you pay weekly or monthly once you pay it's yours now most shops once you pay the rent he don't care if you're there once a day or all day every day the whole week so that's a benefit you kind of get to make your own hours a little bit more when you're doing that way because the owner's already got his rent he's already been paid so the rest is on you. If you don't want to show up and make no money, that's on you. Now, once you've established a clientele and you're making booth rent, once you uh, figure out your booth rent, um, usually it's you know a couple hundred bucks a week, so or one or hundred bucks a week. I've seen as low as that. Usually, you can knock that out within like the first couple of days, and then guess what? The rest of the week, it's all profit. With commission, you got to pay daily, sometimes weekly, but. Booth rent is easier to keep track of because there's less guessing. There's not a percentage split. Usually commission is split 70-30, 60-40, 50-50, something like that. So you got to figure out percentages of what you cut to pay. With booth rent, it's a fixed rate and that's it. Once you pay that little $200 or whatever for the week, after that, all yours. So, long story short, if you're a new barber, trial commission. If you're a veteran barber, I will switch to booth rent. Thanks for watching today's video. I will see you guys in the morning. I appreciate the love. Hit the like button, subscribe, share this video for me, and I'll see you in the chair.